they broke the Manhattan mediocre streak! Yay. See how excited she is? I am completely overwhelmed with joy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was a great episode. I love it. Yeah. Alright, Poison the Reason here, and this is Sega Sister. Hi! So, yeah, uh, the gift of the Mod Pie. This was awesome. Yes. Uh, it was. Where to begin? Uh, best Pony and Second Best Pony, well, for you at least. Yes. Best Pony and Second Best Pony got to interact, and they included Mod, and it was amazing. Um, where to, I guess, one of the big, I guess, where to start. Uh, the plot? Yeah. Uh, the plot of the episode, uh, again, if you haven't seen it, I'm assuming you have. Uh, Mod and, sorry, Pinky and Rarity are going to Manhattan for uh, basically shop testing, uh, look, basically doing sightseeing and also... To show off Rarity's new location for her new man Manhattan boutique, uh, Rarity for You. Rarity for You, which I think is supposed to be like a play on Justice for All, uh, which is a, which is another like um, fashion store for... But although Justice for All is more for like younger kids. Yeah. Uh, but in the process, uh, Maud Pie was also in Manhattan, and they're doing a thing called the Pie... The Pie Sister Surprise Please. Swap Day. Or Psst. Yeah, so you tell me, dear? No, 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 not Psst. Psst. Oh. It, with a D. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and, um, the, the whole plot of it is, uh, uh, each year, Maud basically outdoes Pinky in terms of the gift-giving. Uh, and she and Pinky wants Rarity's help to get find like the perfect gift for Maud. Well, really distract Maud while she goes to find the perfect gift. Which to her, Pinky says that Maud's perfect gift would be uh, a rock pouch. So when she goes to the rock pouch store, yes, there's one in Manhattan apparently. It it it's closed because the owner is out with her grandniece and she'll be gone for a couple for a few moons yeah so it took a, a random trip to candlelight for a couple of months how do you have a vacation for a couple of months the only the owner of the store you get to do whatever <laughs> i mean but how does that but i'm pretty sure that's gonna affect your rent on on the uh, on the store <laughs> and then pinkie pie uh, she goes out she goes crazy because the store is closed and uh, she has to get the the pouch for Mod Pie by sundown and then we get and then we see a Manhattan cop. Like yes, the, I think the first uh, first showing of actual a police force in Equestria that's not the uh, not the Canalog Guard, mm -hmm. uh, which and I, in the show too, not the comics. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because there were uh, police in uh, the f issue 14 with uh, Luna and Spike. Oh, uh, Friends Forever. Yes. Um, but yeah, I, I guess we'll start with the, with the big big thing that I liked about this episode compared to the others. The pacing is great because it gets you right into the action uh, like uh, as early as possible. So again, with, they pretty much set out the uh, pretty much laid out the plan for... Uh, for Pinky and Rarity to go through in order to get the gift, which actually has a has a decent montage going looking through the sites. Uh, they started off in Statue of Liberty. Yeah, Statue uh, Statue of Liberty. Then they checked out uh, apartment like for uh, her boutique. Yeah, boutique, but apparently it's like too cramped. Uh, yeah, how did, how does that work? It's like a two. Uh, it's about the size of a broom closet. Uh, yeah, a broom closet. How do you sell out of a broom closet? Uh, then they. Attend. Unless Rarity is trying to sell to mice? No. <laughs> uh, unless, the only thing I can think of is like it's, uh, it's, it's like not exactly a corner store, but like, uh, like it's, um, uh, like it's an or, like it's a, mm. like a small order store right. where, uh, you, you like can come up and, uh, you, you actually place the orders and place the orders and pick up the orders. Okay. Uh, which may, would make a lot more sense, especially um, yeah. especially where they have yes. the uh, the parcel boxes. Uh, and then they go to Rockefeller Center for the ice skating rink. What? Nothing. Uh, that, that again, that was cute. And then they make it to 
I think Little Italy. And then we have a gag where Pinkie Pie is actually drawing the path with the crown. <laughs> that, I'll, I'll, Pinkie, I'll, this is not a children's restaurant. Get, get rid of that thing. And it winds <laughs> up in some pony salad. Soup. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, that's what the uh, what thing I liked about this episode. The comedy was great. Rarity, Pinkie Pie, and Maud all did amazing jobs uh, in this episode. I think Ma Maud probably had some of the best lines, especially when they're trying to like get trying to find out what Maud likes. Uh, I, I like on when Rarity takes Maud to a jewelry show and she says, um, like, what, so like, says that the all these rocks are stuck up." <laughs> All the jewelry looks stuff feels, but I, I, something that I that I didn't I missed or missed the joke of was during when they're in the toy store with the. By the way, if you didn't catch the big reference, uh, go back and watch it. Uh, Rarity when, 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 asks. I was like, oh, Maud can if you... she sees herself with that giant toy giraffe that she's been staring at? Maybe, maybe if I was looking in a mirror. Yes. <laughs> and then, uh, and then we got to the big. Wait, before the big climax, we'll get to that later, Rarity tries to get Maud Pie a bunch of different things, and among them we see the Twilight Cane, mm -hmm. the Smarty Pants doll, and the book from Inspiration Manifestation. How? Didn't Spike... Didn't Spike eat it? Maybe he waited a couple of hours? Like, maybe... did? He, oh my gosh, maybe he perched it. No. Like, Oh, gross. I don't want to think about that. And then Mod Pie is just interested in a crack in the... In the sidewalk. That's growing grass. Like, all oh, of my ever and you're interested, and you're interested <laughs> in a crack. Um, I can see a bunch of pony YouTube poopers taking advantage of that line, removing the word A. Interested in crack. <laughs> Well, crack is a type of, well, crack, there are crack rocks. Yeah. And uh, then we get to the big climax well, where uh, Pinkie Pie and the, Rarity spot some, some pony with that exact rock pouch that she was planning to get Maud. And, and then... The, which is, I think, the worst part of the episode. Because, yes. Remember in Putting Your Hoof Down where Pinkie tr tries to teach Fluttershy about outswindling a swindler? She gets swindled her, herself here. Because she said the all-important the all important dumb line, I really, 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 really need it. Like, why? Like, you never say that to a person who has a gold chain, a gold tooth, talks like Steve Buscemi, and has a gold, and has a, has gold coins at for a cutie mark. And don't forget the gold earring. Oh, yeah, I, I must miss the gold earring. <laughs> and then... And then this is where uh, we get the reference to the gift of the Magi, which the episode is named after. He he asks for her party cannon in exchange for the rock pouch. And then Pinky decides to give it up because she wanted to sacrifice it just so her sister could be happy. And then the other part of the gift of the Magi plot comes in where Maud gets her something for her party cannon. Cupcake sent to confetti. I wish that, I wish that they came with I wish this uh, show came with smell o vision. <laughs> so we get so we can actually smell the uh, cupcake scented confetti. Yeah, that actually would be would taste really good. Mm. So actually, someone at a con do that, like make like make the the cupcake scented confetti. Do it. Uh, do it for, do it for Babs Con or uh, MLP con. or or MLP MSB. Do that. Um, but I think one of the uh, one of the big things that was great, again great about this was like teaching the lesson. Gift giving is not a competition. Not a competition. It it has to come from the heart, and and that's and that's pretty much. And I think that's why Maud has been doing so well these gifts because all of the gifts have come from the heart. And technically, and te again, technically speaking, uh, where. Um, Pinkie Pie's gift, Pink Pie's gift, did come from the heart, but her mind was set on, oh, I'm, I gotta best my sister. Yeah. Yes, sir, because every single time she does, uh, she, uh, she always does something better than me. But then again, I think it's because she's also like very emotional when it comes to. And then we get to uh, the big part in the third, 
in the third act. By the way, did any of you guys know Tissuri Polamare? Yeah, I, I noticed that she would, uh, yeah, in the background where there, uh, I think it was Rarity was discussing with... The Swindler Pony. With the Swindler Pony. You see, uh, rare, uh, you see Suri in the background talking to, uh, like, uh, like, a, like a big soccer fan. I, wa I want to say it's, uh, I want to say it's like a parody of, like, the, like this one guy from, Ar like, this one famous... Uh, football player from Argentina. I forgot his name. I, think it's like, I like, honestly thought that was a New York Rangers reference. Yeah, because of the red, white, and blue on the scarf. And but... I also thought I saw a shield on the scarf, too. No, it was actually just a pony. Ah. So anyway, uh, Rarity and Maud pretty much scare the Swindler pony to give the cannon back. She blinked! Ah! <laughs> and then... And then Pinky realizes that this is two gifts that Maud got for her, and then we get the moral. Uh, again, like gift giving, gift giving comes from the heart. It's not not a competition. I honestly uh, can uh, relate to this episode. Voice and I, uh, yesterday we celebrated our one year anniversary. At the time of this recording. Yes. And uh, I re I remember like Voice, he has always gone out of his way to. To make sure that I'm happy, like he would get he would get me gifts, and every time I offered to pay for something, he would he would say no. I I got it. I'll take care of it, and he would put my needs first. And and I was always and up until I got here, I was thinking, oh, I need to get him, I need to get him something because this is a very special day. And and then this episode comes along, hmm. and. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know how to finish this thought. It's, it, like, I think you pretty much, like, summed it up. <laughs> yes, we ship it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this was a great episode. I think it's definitely, so far, the funniest of the, of the season, so, uh, of the season. And, yes, it did indeed break the mediocre Manhattan streak. Uh, the again, mns. The mns. <laughs> the, the miss this um again the, the the humor was a lot better the pacing was a lot better um the moral connected a lot better uh i think that and i think the conflict was uh more uh more understand more uh, i wouldn't say more understandable but uh more relatable yeah i, I guess you could say that because a lot of people especially in in relation Ships would struggle finding their partner the mm -hmm. perfect gift when their partner has given them one great gift after another. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get. I guess the saying is like. Also, I guess it also comes to charity. You don't like. Uh, you do it because it's a good thing to do, uh, and, and the the fact that you're uh, donating comes from the heart. It's not because. It, it's not because you are doing it for pu publicity. Mm-hmm. Or for some reward, just do it for the sake of doing it. Yeah, because because it's a good thing to do. Um, anything? Oh yes, and there there was there was one song. It yeah, there was one song, and it was five seconds. Hey. Still better than uh, uh, Evil Enchantress. <laughs> anything would be better than Evil Enchantress. Yes. And then uh, there was the and then there was the ending of the episode uh, where Rarity unveils her final location for her new boutique. Yeah, I, actually, I think it's if I'm correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's the same spot where Coco's apartment is. Ooh. Uh, which I I, uh, I have to, I'd have to look at uh, the 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 setting for where uh, Made in Manhattan took place, but I think that's the same district where Coco actually lives. Huh. So actually that would be beneficial for late for uh, later episodes because uh, like Coco can just walk downstairs and she's at her job. <laughs> and then and then the Pie sisters decide to uh, include rarity in their tradition making turning psd into pstwer. 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 Oh, uh, uh, pie, uh, pie, pie sister, sister si surprise swap day, day with, with rarity. rarity. <laughs> Jinx. You owe me another kiss. 
Hey. <laughs> so yeah, that's those are our thoughts on uh, gift of the gift of the mod pie. Yay! Uh, mm. And by the way, yes, I am working on the crystalling review. You will see it eventually. Mm-hmm. And he does mean eventually. Yes, sometime. He has a life. Yes, I have stuff to do. <laughs> so I'm the voice of reason. I'm the Sega sister. And we'll see you next time. Bye.